So the other day, my Catholic friends and I were doing what most Catholics do. Um, we were talking about Planned Parenthood. And then we heard this, this huge explosion. How, what would Real fast, what would, what would Planned Parenthood do? Planned Parenthood would say, here is a place that you can go to that is not Planned Parenthood. Oh my god, you guys, that was wow. insane. That was a crash. Um, yeah, it, it was a crash. Now, I was pretty excited to have the entire thing on film. I had just bought my camera a few hours before the crash. Um, one of us being a nurse, we did our part to help. There's probably a lower back injury, okay. which is better than an upper back injury. Was she responsive? Yeah, she is responsive. She what kept you complaining about Why numbers. was she bleeding? Okay. She just hit her head. That's, it wasn't bleeding that bad. So I compiled a quick video. I thought it looked really cool. And ignoring the great protest of my girlfriend, I threw it on the internet. Within hours, we were in this uh, very heated argument about the dignity of the victims. I thought it looked pretty cool. She thought it was degrading. Um, it really wasn't until she made the analogy to sex that I realized she was right and I took it down. Um, she explained it kind of like this. Suffering is, is viewed as a very intimate experience and the reason why I was so against you posting that video of those people in their vulnerability was because much like sex, suffering is an intimate experience and um, it's supposed to be experienced with reverence and, you know, when you suffer, you are participating in Christ's suffering and that's a very intimate thing, it's a very unitive thing. Well, suffering is our common experience. It's only after we suffer that we can really love each other. This is why Catholics see suffering as such a great gift. It's when we suffer that we participate intimately in the suffering of Christ, uh, in the very source of love. Suffering. I'm suffering. <laughs> Jackie's suffering a little bit because it's early in the morning and it's cold and we're tired. But there's a lot of grace that comes with suffering and a lot of good that comes out of suffering that I feel like people miss. And it's easy, gotcha. It's easy to miss in the moment. <laughs> Do you want to get back over? <laughs> there you go. Um, it's a privilege. With suffering, I don't think you can <laughs> truly experience joy without first having experienced the lack of joy or suffering. Your hands are freezing. <laughs> uh, participating in Christ's crucifixion is intimate whether you know the name Jesus or not. Therefore, seeking to witness suffering for entertainment value is essentially seeking to exploit a very intimate moment. Likewise, seeking to witness the sexual union uh, is also seeking to exploit a very intimate moment. The intimacy is not for us to witness, rather it's for us to participate in.
And that's why I took down that, that really cool video.